Good evening, Earthy Wise Woman here. And tonight it's another, I don't want to say episode, that sounds so drab, but I want to do another urban talk with you. Now I plan on doing another reading later on tonight. The reason I want to do an urban talk is I like to share things that I find that come up a lot in my practice. I am a psychic counselor. It's what I do for a living other than come here and, you know, have a good time with you on YouTube. But I am a psychic counselor. And certain questions come up often in my practice. Um, the main question I get a lot of is, um, my family has been cursed, or has my family been cursed? That's a pretty broad question. Um, so, you know, I have never told anyone no. I usually you know, consult the cards and my oracles, and I try to look into seeing what is going on in this family dynamic that makes this person believe that their family is truly cursed. And I'm going to uh, basically tell you what's really been going on. And it, it's it's the rhythm of our, our, our world, and it has a lot to do with shame. Now, you're like, shame? What does that mean? What do you mean, shame? Well, in one case, a grandmother did not want to tell her daughter the uh, situation of her birth. And now I say grandmother because I was doing counseling for the granddaughter. So we're talking three generations. And what it was, um, the grandmother did not really believe that the daughter's father was really her biological father. And she kept that in, and she never told her daughter. And her daughter found out later on when her mother passed away, and she read it in her mother's diary. Not a really good way to find out something like that. And she had been living her life prior to reading that uh, diary with a great deal of um, distrust. Distrust for other people. She ended up being married three times. Um, had issues with um, the ability to accept love. So it was a lot of this going on. And she tried to be a better mother to her daughter, who was the one who came to me. And... Um, she gave her everything, but she never felt that she was good enough to give her, I guess, love. So then the daughter came to me and said, well, my family has been cursing. Can you lift the curse? And I said, okay, after doing the reading, after seeing everything, the best way to lift this curse was honesty and forgiveness. Honesty and forgiveness. Um, even on the astral plane, I did do a ritual to the grandmother and I asked, you know, could she possibly learn to forgive herself? Because her not forgiving herself and carrying around this shame has caused both her daughter and her granddaughter to carry around the same shame. And uh, I would say well, probably about two weeks later, the daughter came back to me and her mother and um, both were saying how things seemed a little bit better in their lives, how things were easier, how going out was easier, how accepting love seemed a little easier. They still sometimes fell back into their old behavior, but they did feel like they could love and they could be loved. Okay, and I thought that was wonderful. That was wonderful. I'm saying all that to say this. Um, people... Secrets aren't healthy. They're not healthy. And there are some secrets that we keep because they are personal and they're not really affecting anyone. But then there are other secrets that truly do affect other people and those people need to be told. And I realize that a lot of times the reason we don't share these secrets is because of a sense of shame for our behavior or a sense of regret because of what we did. Um... And sometimes just plain old everyday anger. 
that someone would have the audacity to do that to us. So we do not let go of the anger and we hold on to that anger and it actually grows and it festers. It does and it can. I call these uh, psychic uh, dust bunnies. And it happens in homes where you have had so much negativity and so much anger and bitterness and hatred in a room or in a house that it builds up. And usually someone has to come in and cleanse the house to get that negativity out. And usually that someone is people like me. So I'm going to tell you guys, listen, in your home, in your energy space, within yourself, tell the truth. Be honest as best you can. And when I mean by be honest, I'm not saying be the type of person that tell the truth every single time, even if it hurts someone. No. But when it concerns that person, when it's something you feel that they really should know, tell them. Okay? Don't judge. Just tell them. And sometimes in life, you're going to have to eat a shit sandwich. <laughs> And you're like, what do you mean by that comment? In other words, if you've done something that you know was wrong and it comes back because karma does come back and bites you in the butt, take it. Take it and learn from it, okay? Because karma is one thing, but then you can reach a state called dharma. And what dharma is, is when a person realizes they messed up and blew it and they try to do something to correct the mistake. And that is a wonderful state to be in. I'm not saying, above all, don't feel shame for the rest of your life. Let it go. If you've done something wrong to somebody, let them know what you did and try to make amends. And if they don't accept that, at least you tried. All right? And you will lighten your burden in life. Because the one thing that holds us back from love and success um, and just real happiness is usually regret. It's not healthy to regret. And I don't want you guys to carry around any guilt or remorse for bad behavior. No one is perfect. And people will make mistakes. The best thing we can do is to try to correct them as best we can. And to forgive ourselves. So out there, I want you guys to forgive yourself, okay? Now... If you feel that you have a house that's kind of got a lot of bad negative energy, I want you to take some sage and I want you to walk around your house and just cleanse the negative energy out. Start from the back of your house to the front of your house and just cleanse out the negative energy. Do this at least once a month to your home. And then to yourself, take a cleansing bath and release all the negative energy you have done to others. Release it. And like I said before, you can only do so much to make amends. And people will not always accept your apologies. But make sure you accept your apologies. Make sure you do your best to try to make things right. That is one thing you always have control over. And as far as family curses, that is a definition of a curse. Carrying around regret. Because unfortunately, it will spill over into the next generation and the next until it's handled. So, forgive yourself. Okay? Forgive your ancestors. And I personally believe in burning candles and incense to the ancestors to let them know that I know you weren't perfect. I am grateful to you, though, because without you, I would not exist. And remember that, unfortunately, and maybe fortunately, love and hate and regret and repentance is relevant. It's continual. Even if a person has crossed over and died, you can still forgive them. And you may need to in order to get on with a better existence for your life. Never hold hate. Never hold regret. For not for too long. You can regret and you can be angry at someone. The reason I tell you not to hold it is because it's only hurting you. Because the more you carry it, that is a burden upon you. Not them. You. So, please, let it go. 
I think I just sound like a song there, but truly let it go and meditate on the love, love. I didn't say you always are going to agree with someone, but love is the answer to a lot of the negativity in our world. Because here's the thing, where there's love, there is the ability to forgive. And where there's the ability to forgive, growth happens, change happens, love continues, and love is eternal. And on that note, I just want to say, I want you guys to have a safe weekend and enjoy the beauty and the love of the full moon because she is shining out there. And go out there and take a look at the moon and just embrace the love of the goddess and know that you are loved. Blessed be.